Creating a simple application using Visual Studio.net 2008. In this lesson, we're going to discuss how to use common controls, such as label control, text box control, and button control with code sample. Open a Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 start page. Go to File menu and click on New. Then click Project. This will open a new project window. We can also open a new project window by simply pressing the Shift, Control and N keys. Select Visual C Sharp in Project Types and Windows Application in Templates. And then give a name for your application. And then click OK. This will open a new application window with the default form namely Form1.cs. Now then, if you want to rename the Form 1, then go to Solution Explorer window, and then right-click on the Form 1 icon. Click Rename option to change the name of the form. Well then, go to Toolbox and click All Window Forms. This will show you a list of controls used to develop an application. Click the Button Control, Label Control, and Text Box Control. Then, arrange the controls by dragging them such as this. Click the Label Control and process the F4 key to get the Properties window. Change the Text property to Enter the Name. Similarly, do the changes in Button Control. Now, double-click the Button Control it will show you the code window. It contains the class with default namespaces. Now we've already discussed about C-sharp code structure in previous lesson. Well then, just add this coding in button click event. In this application, we're just going to display the message box with text box value. Press Start Debugging button to run the application. And we can also use the F5 key to run the program. Now we are in Execution window. Just type the name, and then click OK. It's displaying the message box with the name that you have entered into the text box control. Right then, I hope you have a clearer idea as to how to create and run a simple Windows application.